Alright, this should start part two of the vid of our KMO playthrough. And I got Barog and Vega. The ugly motherfucker against the the man who believes in beauty. Let's see how they do. Really? Okay. Yeah, part two of my arcade mode playthrough. Since the audio is so bad online right now. And you will be surprised how important sound is in a fighting game. Because I didn't realize how. To, ooh! Nice little Joker combo for me. I didn't realize how important the sound was until I tried to play online and I couldn't hear nothing. But yeah, just in case you just tuned in and you didn't watch part one, this is me basically practicing against the computer in arcade mode. Medium difficulty. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with Raven Horong as my team. Yeah. We both missed the grab right there. Yeah, I see another growth here. The button mashing is already stopping. Now, it's all about technique. Trying to memorize stuff, get my stuff together here. So I can do some damage. Rolento, I tried him the first night I got the game and he is gonna be a pain in the ass once people like learn him because he can do some shit in this game damn I keep dropping it man I don't know man maybe uh I mean, I'm liking Hall Run, but I don't know if I want to keep him on my team. Because he, he's a good character, but it seems like he got some disadvantages, like, in his range. And the fact that he can't punch, you know? All kicks with Hall Run in this game. See, I'm trying to uh, really learn the juggles in this game because you can do a certain amount of moves, but I'm not quite sure how many yet. I'm not really, really sure how many times you can hit them when they hit the ground, before they hit the ground or after they bounce and do the, uh, the bound move like Tekken style. You gotta learn that kind of stuff if you want to get good. Of course. I had to set uh, certain characters back to the Japanese voice actors because the English is just too corny and terrible. Especially for like Horong. He was saying some stupid shit. I was like, man, shut up. I think this is the final fight. Uh, Bison and Yuri. Horong and Yuri would probably be an interesting team, but I just I don't like her, so whatever. They both uh Korean, huh? Do ta uh like Taekwondo type style, whatever. Right to the crotch. Even Bison can't handle a kick to the balls. Hey, look at it. You pink bitch. 
start getting fun. Hi, Vex. Give me all your data on the box. Give me all that fucking data. The difference of power is now clear. Bison ain't do shit, man. He couldn't handle it. Okay, the first time I cleared arcade mode, Akuma whooped my ass like 10 times. Let's see how it go this time. <laughs> of course, I was mashing the first time I cleared the arcade mode. Now I kind of know some moves, so maybe I'll have an easier time. Got that classic Akuma um, theme song. Keep the pressure on that bitch. Uh. Uh. I ain't even started messing with the gym system yet. I'm just using the default that the computer set up for me. I'm like, the way I'm doing it is I'm just gonna learn the game first. And once I get a handle on the game, then I start looking into the gyms. Would that hurt me? I don't know. I really don't feel like the, the gyms affect the fight all that much. Yeah, I feel like if you're good enough, I mean, you can, you don't have to worry about what a gym, what uh, what gyms your opponent is using. So that's how I'm going about it right now. I'm trying to do this move and I forgot how to do it. I was doing all kind of crazy shit in training mode. But maybe that's because I had to set to uh, unlimited meter. Uh, spank that ass. Ooh, I, might be ha I might have to tag out. Oh yeah, get her wrong in there. Damn, he pressuring me. He pressuring me. Ah. <laughs> you cannot jump. You're gonna get sure you can every time. Alright. Mm. Finish him. Ah, fucked up. You that time. Got him. That's it. That's the arcade mode. What did you expect? That's the arcade mode. You fight a few matches and take out the last enemy. You can get your little ending. I don't really care about it. Some junk about Despite Pandora box, gone, whatever. Someone had made off with the contents of Pandora's box, cementing its place in time as an unsolved. Dabba dabba da, dabba dabba da. Pandora was finally loaded. Dabba 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 da. Already been opened. Dabba da. Contents stolen. Around you don't really give a fuck. You just want to opened. fight. Several you fought, and Pandora you beat the game. Followed by showers. You're still not very good. -like you only beat it on However, medium. The Go take your ass and practice, been, and come back when you can beat the game on hard. A few days later, the box itself vanished, leaving no signs that it had ever existed. After all of the commotion it had caused, Pandora became no more than a fleeting memory. There is yep, ah, no uh, well, whatever. I don't know if y'all want to watch this or what, but I don't like showing story stuff on my channels because I feel like I'm giving them spoilers. And I hate having shit spoiled for me. 
But yeah, that's the game. That's arcade mode. As y'all can see, I'm training up my characters. Probably gonna stick with this team for a while. And whenever they patch online mode, I'll start fighting real people. So, or maybe before then, I might not be able to wait. But yeah, I'm out. Practicing mode.